Hey guys, it's Chef. So my wife and I have been looking forward to getting a double sleeping bag for a long time. With our family, we take trips to a lot of different places and setting up a tent, getting sleeping bags out is a pretty normal ordeal for us. But one thing that's always annoyed my wife is the fact that we don't have the perfect sleeping bag set up. We don't have one that's great for us. We're always switching and trading back and forth and the kids are always arguing about whose sleeping bag is whose. So recently I picked up a double sleeping bag. And when I was looking at double sleeping bags, there's a couple things I wanted to look at. First of all, I didn't want a sleeping bag that was just two quilts sewed together. There's a lot better sleeping bags that are made nowadays that are a lot like a mummy bag, that have a lot of the similar things and attributes that a mummy bag would have in a double sleeping bag. So when I purchased this double sleeping bag, I made sure to get one that had a couple of things. Number one, the sleeping bag I got has a removable liner. This removable liner enables us to take the liner out, wash it, throw it back on the sleeping bag, and we're good to go. Also, it's got draft tubes all the way around the sides where the zippers are, and also around the shoulders, so that when it gets cold at night, you can cinch those tighter and bring them up around your neck, and you're not gonna have all the hot air escaping out through the top of the sleeping bag. And the draft tubes go all the way around. In fact, even where the, the zippers meet together, um, there's a little flap or an, another version of a larger draft tube that keeps the hot air inside the sleeping bag So you're not going to have that one cold spot at your feet when you're sleeping at night The double sleeping bag I chose to get is called the King Cove and much like a lot of other products I've looked at I found that the best and most innovative double sleeping bag on the market today comes from Wildhorn Outfitters They keep taking products that already exist and making them a little bit better than everyone else at a little bit better price so the King Cove sleeping bag really stood out for a lot of reasons. The draft tube, the quality of design, the removable liner, but it also has other little features that are really, really well done. The zippers, the tabs, all the different clips and buckles are really, really well made and they work great. Even on the stuff sack, they've got compression straps on there and all the clips and adjustments there are really well done so that you can quickly and easily compress the bag and open it up pretty big because double sleeping bags are always big. So being able to compress it down is a pretty big deal. And there's even flaps that go over and Velcro tight so that your zippers don't gradually open up through the night as you move and toss and turn in your sleep. So Wildhorn Outfitters has thought of everything when it comes to this sleeping bag. They've got all the details correct. Not only is the removable liner really easy to take off and throw in the wash, it also has some cool features to it. It's got a great little slightly reflective pattern on it and the coloring of it is more of an ombre. It changes colors the closer it gets to your feet. It's a nice little touch and you can tell that Wildhorn Outfitters has thought of all the details. In addition to that, when it comes to sleeping bags and car camping, throwing a pillow on top of a slippery sleeping bag sometimes is annoying. So they actually have two pockets. These are just expandable, stretchable mesh pockets that are built into the sleeping bag where you can stuff your pillow in or you can take like, I might have a down jacket, stuff that in as my pillow and that way I'm not bringing an extra pillow with me. Um, being able to have those two pillow pockets is kind of an extra bonus. One other thing that you'll notice when you actually take the liner off is hidden underneath the removable liner, right where about your chest will be, there are hidden stash pockets where you can unzip the liner and you unzip the little zipper where you can put in your phone, your keys, and a couple other things to make sure you have them there with you in the night. I always keep my cell phone with me when I'm camping, when I'm sleeping, because I found when I'm in the cold, the battery drains faster and it causes other problems. So I keep it with me and having a pocket right there on my chest where it's not gonna be too annoying, but it's gonna be where I want it to be is really, really helpful. So having those stash pockets that then hide behind the liner so that the zipper from the stash pocket isn't bugging you is really great. The zippers are there, they're out of the way. Um, you have your phone, your keys with you, you know they're not gonna lose them. And it's things like that that show the details when it comes to this double sleeping bag or make it way better than the competition. So being in the sleeping bag, it's about 40 degrees out and it's pretty windy. I hope it's not picking it up on the microphone, but it's pretty chilly out. Um, my arm being out of the bag right now is getting cold. And uh, I'd say definitely this bag keeps you definitely warm enough when you're getting down to about 30 degrees. Absolutely fits that criteria. So a uh, very warm bag, happy with this bag. So one of the best things about a good double bag is a good double bag can be a little more versatile than a normal sleeping bag. Not only is it great for couples, so you have two people in there, but if you have little kids and they get cold in the night, it's really easy to grab your kids and just throw them in the sleeping bag with you. My problem with this double bag is gonna be that my kids are always gonna to wanna to be sleeping in it. And to be honest, it's tempting just to throw all my kids in the same sleeping bag together. 
let them keep themselves and each other warm and have the most fun they've ever had. When they saw the double sleeping bag, they thought it really was for them, it was the greatest thing ever. So my wife probably is not going to allow that, but when the kid gets cold in the night, being able to grab them and pull them in the sleeping bag with you is gonna be great. The other thing about versatility when it comes to a double bag and a double bag like this one is that the King Cove unzips and the top and the bottom parts of the double bag become two separate individual sleeping bags. A lot of double sleeping bags say that they come apart. Some of them come apart and only become a comforter, like a giant quilt to go on top or on bottom, but these come together and actually work well as individual sleeping bags. The King Cove bag is actually a California King size, and so it's extra long. And so when you take the front and the back pieces apart and you hook them so that they are single, two individual sleeping bags, they are still individually long enough to be a good single sleeping bag. One of them will be a little bit longer than the other just because the headpiece goes a little bit longer on that side. But my wife, who's 5'10", was in the shorter sleeping bag and had tons of room at her feet. It worked out great. She thought it was a fantastic sleeping bag individually when she tried it out. And I think it provides the ability for me to bring one sleeping bag that I can either separate and use as two individual bags for my kids, or I can zip it together and have it be a double sleeping bag for my wife and I. It provides the versatility we need that really sets this bag apart not as two individual quilts, but as two separate sleeping bags. So if your family's looking at picking up another sleeping bag or two sleeping bags, I would recommend getting a good double bag like this one so that you can have an extra sleeping bag or two, or it can be the double bag that you want. Hey, if you have any questions, let me know. I will, as always, I will leave links to the sleeping bag and other products down in the description below. This is Chef, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.